up guys, chapter 262 of Shogeki no Soma, Song of Hope is here. I'm looking forward to it guys, because last week, well two weeks ago actually, when the chapter leaked, we got some good shit guys, we got Erina serving the dish up to the judges, Aizumi actually by the end of the chapter, tasting the dish and something goes on what happens? We don't know. I've got a pretty good idea what's going on. I believe it's got something to do with the blessing. I can't wait for this week's chapter, guys. But let's just get straight in to this week's chapter. <sighs> Composure. Okay. Uniforms soar into the air. <laughs> it's the blessing. We've got Nine Kune. We've got... Um, Momo Senpai, what? Huh? We're like, yeah! <clears throat> so she's like, huh? So everything. Uh, Aizen and Saito, huh? Hmm? Th this is. There's no. Yeah, there's no mistake. Right? Yeah! That happened to Yuki. Okay. Right, I'm gonna zoom in because we have to zoom in for this. Blessing! It's a blessing! So we got. Uh, Alice, we got Megami, everyone's just losing all their clothes. They're being stripped one after another, even more. Then, then during Tsukasa and Rindo's edition, it's propagating to so many more of them. So we got Yuki, we got uh, Ibusaki, we got, uh, oh, what's her name? Malt Girl. Uh, I'll think of it later. We got, then we got Subaru, it's like the sound of the melody. The two of them play. So we've got Subaru, we've got Megashima, are reverberating in the air. That sound is as if we've got Aizumi Impossible. Chapter 262, Song of Hope. So even though I mentally reject it, my body is telling me that this is delicious. Ah! So we've got Rindo. Rindo! So we've got... It's, it's hit Rindo. Sukasa's like, hm, what's going on? So we've got Erna and Soma standing there. Um, we're looking from Sukasa's point of view. This this can't be. There must be some mistake. There's no way I could ever recognize a dish like this. Erna, do you not know what's go what going against your father wishes really means? So this is Aizumi. He's pissed. He's not happy that... The blessing that he has, because obviously we know with Senzaimon, he bears his chest. You know, we know with uh, Nikiori's father, it's something very similar. He'll show his chest. He'll bear his... But Aizumi is different. Everyone else around him gets stripped. All right? If my grand revolution is broken, that the garden that protects chefs everywhere, and even the compass itself will be lost. All alone. Chefs the world over will be forced to aimlessly wander the wastelands. I, I think the reason we managed to make it this far is because all of us as students were aiming for our own goals and objectives, right? So I, I believe this is Hisako. Yeah, it's Hisako. And I know that I'm not the only one moving towards their goal. The fact, it helps me continue to press on forward. What? You dare speak your mind to the headmaster of Totsuki? You are but a worthless slave. The scrapes that dirt off the soles of the Nakuri family boots. No. I, I'm Erna Sam's... I, I'm... You too, come with me, so flashback. I'm Erna Sam's friend. Alright, so he, Hisako, so Hisako's finally standing up to Aizumi. This is awesome. We're seeing a lot of good things here. So we've got Hisako now. He's the Koji! So it's like Yuki. He's like, he's the Koji! So Erin is smiling. Father, he's the girl's right. I've met so many chefs with values and ideologies different than my own. This dish came into being only because I was able to interact with all of them. So we've got a. Uh, uh, Yuki. Not Yuki. Ryoko. Ryoko's the malt girl. Right, we got Ryoko, Megami, Ibusaki, all them there. 
They get uh, Megami, what you call impurities to my cooking with actually been the best spices. Ooh, I love it. She's smiling. She's kind of happy. This dish isn't just delicious. From it, I feel a passion, a desire to be conspired, to consider delicious by someone, a deep, deep warmth. So we got Annie's like, mm. they're going nuts. How utterly insane. There's merely yet another ill effect of the impurities. Right, Tsukasa? You're probably thoroughly fed up by now. Hmm? So Tsukasa's standing there. Huh? How foolish. How can you not understand? It is by placing things like passion into their dishes that chefs lose their way. They suffer and eventually they wither and fall. Just like him. So we know he's talking about cyber. Excuse me. Yes, the only way all chefs can be happy is by living peacefully inside the walls of the garden I construct for them. So I like the idea he had wasn't a bad idea. It's basically saying, look, I can teach you how to cook like this. Like the, the general idea was good. Just the way he was going about it was wrong. So now we've got to do me a favour and stop deciding other people's happiness for them. Alright? He's like, hmm? I only recently heard about how bad stuff happened to my dad in the past. But, so now we've got the first time we actually see Soma's mum. We only see him from the back. We never, we've never ever seen Soma's mum. After meeting mum, dad was happy. I know that for sure. And we've got Aaron, huh? Cyber Senpai was happy? I refuse to believe it. I refuse to ice me. He's pissed. He's annoyed. He's angry. God, my blessing pulse. <laughs> so we've got Iski, Ishki, like, ta da. we got uh, Takumi, Takumi. I can't stop it. This pulse energy. It's even hit Sukasa here. He doesn't have anywhere to go. No, 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 no. So, Aizumi's pissed. He's obviously, he's fuming at this point. I love it. This is so awesome. Ah, it's happening. Oh, oh. it's so cool. All right, so all the students, are the, the victor of this regimental shukugeki is father. At the academy you so despised, I was reborn. Into a completely different person, a completely different chef. All right, time to seal it with a catchphrase. You ripped off a bunch of stuff from me, right? Say it, you know what? What? Why me? It's the leader's job to close things out. Come on, go. <laughs> so I'm like, come on, go. I, su I suppose I must then. The victor is the rebel. Alliance, it's over. We, Soma and Erna have defeated Tsukasa and Rindo. It wasn't much. <laughs> so Soma's like, with everyone standing there except for Subaru, Kuga, and make sure everyone else has been stripped. It wasn't much. The regiment de cuisine draws to a close with the Rebel Alliance being the victors. <gasps> Woo! Alright guys, just hang on a second, we'll jump straight into the review. Alright guys, so chapter 262, we got the end of the Regiment D Cuisine with Soma and Erna coming out on top of Rindo and Tsukasa. And I feel right off the back, I'm just going to jump to the end here. It ended perfectly with the catchphrase from Erin. Erin's own catchphrase. It wasn't much. Right? I feel that was the best thing that could have happened. The perfect way to finish off the Regiment D Cuisine. I loved this chapter. This chapter was awesome, guys. From literally, it starts from where we picked up off last week with Aizumi tasting the dish. And as we know, with Aizumi, his version of the blessing is very, very different from anyone else within the Nakiri household. 
obviously with St. Zaymon, with uh, uh, Alice's father, what they tend to do is they bear their chest, the men, right? They bear their chest. That's a sign of this was supremely delicious. That's what they do, right? Aizmi, on the other hand, he causes everybody else to strip. We see as during the chapter, Yuki, Ryoko, Hisako, uh, Alice, Takumi, Ishiki, Megumi, everyone else starts having their clothes. Dush. And then even Rindo and Tsukasa. And then finally, at the end, Aizumi himself. Right? So, and the best thing I loved about this was even all the impurities. Anna had an answer for him saying, all these things that you deem as impure, you know, all these things that you say are not worthy, they actually turn out to be the things that allow me to create this dish. They were the best spices. They took everything that I know, I added that knowledge to it, and now I was able to create something beyond comprehensible, beyond what you deem to be gourmet. Right? I love that. I love that. That was a great thing. That's an awesome. And they had Erna of all people saying that to Aizmi was a great touch. Because I felt if that came from Soma, it would be like, well, come on, of course, Soma's going to say, he's believed that the entire time. But to have Erna, who was so against it originally, now to be saying to her father, look, this is the way it should be. Yes, people are going to fail. People are going to lose their mind. Just like your hero, Cyber Senpai, he did as well. But it's because of this that allowed me to do this. And we know she used a lot of things that Cyber well, hasn't been able to pull off. He hasn't been able to make them work. She used those to make it work. That's kind of like a big F you. Cyber saying, look, I used the stuff that you couldn't do, and I made it work. And then we got Aizumi basically saying, this is bullshit, this is bullshit, no, no, I can't leave, I can't, you know, even though I, my mind's saying no, 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 my body's reacting, I can't handle it, you know, I can't handle it, you know, and I, Aizumi's overall idea, the general idea was good, basically to have every chef cook a specific way, you know, so that, you know, they're not wandering in the wasteland, as he puts it, as they tend to put it in Shogeki, you know, so it's an endless wasteland of delicious and disgusting, you know, and people want to walk through that wasteland to the end. And he's saying that the whole reason, as we know, why he did it was for Cyber, because Cyber got to a point where he just broke down and he disappeared, right? And he goes, he just wanted to create a garden where all chefs can live there happily, creating great food, all that kind of stuff. The general idea was good. Like It was just how he was going about it that he was willing to shut down all these shops. Boom, 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 boom. Just to create this perfect paradise. He was going about the wrong way. But what he should have done was take what they had, learn from that, evolve that, to a newer level, and then go from there. That's what he should have done. But he went about the wrong way. And the one the one part where Soma actually does come in, I actually really like this. Because, obviously, Aizumi was doing all of this for Saiba. Soma's father, saying it was because of this wasteland that Saiba fell apart, that he wasn't happy, da-da-da-da. And then we have Soma come in and go, do me a favor and stop deciding other people's happiness for them. And he goes, I only just recently heard about the stuff that happened to him in his past. But after he met mom, he met, you know, Soma's mom, dad was happy. I know that for sure. And then we get like a, a picture of Saiba with the young Soma and his mother. We still haven't seen the mother's face. I'll, that's one thing I would love to see. To actually see uh, Soma's mother, whether she's alive, passed away, I don't know. I would love to see that. And then we got Aizumi going like, Saiba Senpai was happy. Bullshit, I refuse to believe it. There's no way in hell he would have been happy. Right? And then we have the blessing hit Ishiki, Takumi, and then finally Sukasa before finally hitting Aizumi himself. And then we got the final 
uh, basically the actual thing of the victor is the Rebel Alliance. Soma and Elna had defeated the first and second seeds. And I love it. So he goes, all right, time to settle with the catchphrase. You've ripped off a bunch of stuff from me, right? Say, it, you know you want. <laughs> Say, it, you, you know what? what? And she's like, what? why me? Because it's the leader's job to close things out. Come on, go. <laughs> and it's like, I suppose I must then. And we got the confirmation of the Rebel Alliance has won the regimental show regimental de cuisine. And then we got in on this catchphrase of it wasn't much with Soma, Takumi, Megashima, Subaru, Kuga, Ishiki, and Megami all there. All of them there. Everyone who competed on the Rebel Alliance team there. Takumi, Ishiki, and Megami kind of stripped and Subaru Kuga and Megashima not stripped, which is kind of interesting. Uh, all them there, and that is where the chapter ends. And it is now officially the end of the Regiment D Cuisine. I'm really curious about how this is all going to happen now. What's going to happen now? Well, obviously, everyone Hanayama, Hisako, uh, Alice, uh, Ku um, basically, everybody is going to get. Get reinstated. We already know all that. But now what's going to happen with the Elite 10? Are these guys going to take over the seats of the Elite 10? Which they should. The question is going to be who's going to be in what seat? Who's going to be where? What? Who's going to be what? You know, that's the real, that's the true questions here. But anyway, guys, overall for this chapter, guys, it's a great any way to finish off the regiment the cuisine. I was super happy with that. I'm going to give this chapter. Five stars, brilliant chapter. I absolutely loved it. They have Aizumi finally basically put in his place and by Erna of all people was utterly brilliant. I loved it. I thought it was a brilliant chapter and I'm looking forward to next week's chapter which I feel is going to be a continuation of the wrap up of what's going down. Anyway guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Did you like it? Didn't like it? All that kind of jazz. And as always, smash that thumbs up, hit that subscriber, dingle that bell. It will dangle every time I upload. And as always, guys, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys with another live reaction and review. Peace.